smoking and preparing to smoke while driving. A. Do not affect driving abilities. B. Help maintain driver alertness. C. Are distracting activities. D. Are not distracting activities. C. Are distracting activities. Smoking while driving can create dangerous distractions by causing you to take your hands off the wheel and or your eyes off the road. When in a travel lane on the roadway. A. You may stop to drop off passengers. B. You may stop to look up an address. C. You may make a U-turn or back up if you get on the wrong entrance ramp of the freeway. D. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. D. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. You should not stop in a travel lane for any reason. Instead, keep moving until you can safely pull off of the road. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up. Go to the next turn or exit or where you can safely turn around. If you experience a tire blowout, you should A. Allow the steering wheel to move freely. B. Let the car slow to a stop. C. Continue driving until you reach a garage. D. Brake hard to stop the car immediately. B. Let the car slow to a stop. If one of your tires blows out, you should hold the steering wheel tightly, stay off of the brakes, slowly take your foot off of the gas pedal, and steer smoothly in the direction you want to go. Get to a safe spot where you can pull over to change the tire and let your vehicle slow to a stop. If you are under age 21 and are convicted of driving under the influence of alcohol, you will receive a fill in the blank license suspension for a first offense A. 60 day B. 30 day C. 6 month D. 1 year D. 1 year if you are under age 21 and are convicted of driving under the influence, you will be subject to the penalties for the high rate of blood alcohol concentration BAC, regardless of your actual BAC. These penalties include a 12-month license suspension for the first offense. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. If you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is to A. Get some coffee. B. Open your window. C. Stop driving. D. Turn on the radio. C. Stop driving. Being fatigued while driving is similar in danger to driving under the influence of alcohol. If you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is to stop driving. The right edge of a road is marked by a fill in the blank line. A. Broken white. B. Solid yellow. C. Solid white. D. Broken yellow. C. Solid white. Solid white lines are used to mark the right edge of a road. One of the penalties for driving under the influence of alcohol is A. A 5-year driver license suspension B. A $100 fine C. Required attendance at an alcohol highway safety school D. A 12-hour sentence in jail This sign means A. No U-turn. B. No turning. C. No left turn. D. No right turn. It is best to keep a space cushion? 
A. Only in back of your vehicle. B. Only on the left and right sides of your vehicle. C. Only in front of the vehicle. D. On all sides of the vehicle. D. On all sides of the vehicle. To ensure that you will have time to react to hazards on the roadway, it is best to keep a cushion of space on all sides of your vehicle. Do not crowd vehicles to your left and right sides. This sign means A. School ahead. B. School crossing. C. Pedestrian crossing. D. Construction workers on or near the roadway. C. Pedestrian crossing. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that there may be pedestrians crossing the road ahead. A steady yellow traffic signal means that a fill in the blank light will soon appear. A. Flashing yellow. B. Steady green. C. Steady red. D. Flashing red. C. Steady red. A steady yellow light on a traffic signal indicates that a steady red light will soon appear. You may honk your horn when you A. Have to stop quickly. B. Are passing another car. C. Have lost control of your car. D. Are passing a bicyclist. C. Have lost control of your car. One situation where it is appropriate to use your horn is if you lose control of your vehicle. In this case, sound your horn to alert other drivers. When driving in fog, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. D. Hazard flashers. A. Low beam headlights. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, as well as your fog lights, if your vehicle has them. High beams direct their light upwards, where it can bounce off the fog and into your eyes, reducing visibility even more. Increasing your vehicle's speed. A. Increases your field of vision. B. Decreases your field of vision. C. Makes it easier to see cross traffic. D. Has no effect on your field of vision. The amount of space you need to cross traffic depends on the A. Road conditions, weather conditions, and oncoming traffic. B. Presence of a stop sign. C. Use of your turn signals. D. Cars behind you. When approaching a railroad crossing warning sign. A. Be ready to drive faster than the train. B. Be prepared to stop if a train is nearby. C. Look for a way around any lowered gates. D. Assume no trains are nearby and continue driving normally. B. Be prepared to stop if a train is nearby. Railroad crossing warning signs are used to warn drivers of the possibility of a train. Drivers should obey all railroad crossing warning signs and never go around barriers or disregard the warning sign. You do not have to stop for a school bus that is stopped with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended if you A. Are driving on the opposite side of a divided highway. B. Are behind the bus. C. See no children present. D. Can safely pass on the left. Which of the following about winter driving is not true? A. Winter is the most difficult driving season. B. Checking your vehicle's antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels is especially important during the winter.
C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. D. It is best to use snow tires on your vehicle. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. You should not use cruise control on snow, in rain, in fog, or under similar hazardous conditions. Winter is the most difficult driving season and requires extra caution from drivers. It is important to consistently check your antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels. Using snow tires can increase a vehicle's traction on the surface of slippery roads.